potentially life-saving genetic test for breast and ovarian cancers is on the market this morning. A California startup is offering what they say is a cheaper and easier way to determine a woman's risk of getting those diseases. Our Dr. Holly Phillips joins us at the table. Holly, good morning to you. Good morning. This Dan. sounds very promising. It, it's incredibly exciting. So the, the way the test is done, it just uses a swab of saliva. Women can do the test at home, and then they mail it in for their results. Uh, your doctor can order the test, or the company can provide a doctor for you. And it looks for breast cancer and ovarian cancer genes, things like BRCA1 and 2, which we've heard a lot about, as well as 17 others. The amazing thing is the cost. It's only $249, whereas ordinarily this type of testing runs up to $4,000. And you can get it from saliva and you're mailing it to who? Where's it going? Yeah, so it's, a, it's offered by an internet company. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they send you a kit and you mail it back to them and you get your results in 6 to 12 weeks. But the reason it's a game changer really is that you know, making genetic testing affordable and accessible has been a huge barrier. But we know that genes, using genes to screen for illness, treat illness, and even prevent illness in some cases, that's the future of medicine. So we're going to see a lot more and of this. And who should get the test? The medical guidelines for who should get genetic testing hasn't changed. So it's certainly if you have a first degree relative with breast or ovarian cancer, you would be a candidate, or if you've already had a breast or ovarian cancer. But then there are a whole group of women that haven't been able to get the test. For instance, if you were adopted and you don't know your family history, and some women just want to know. As long as you have a doctor to help guide you through what to do with the information, more information is a good thing. Sounds too good to be true. Thank I, you. I hope not. But it's exciting. <laughs> it's it exciting. is very. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Holly Phillips.